Oh, hello, this is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life, and thanks for joining us as we continue our paddle of the entire Manistee River from Hoddenpill Dam Pond. If you'll remember last week left us paddling in the dark, which is not recommended. We were left out there trying to make up so many miles and hours after an unplanned car drop off and rainstorm forced us off the water early the first day. After hours of paddling in pitch black, we eventually reached a highway rest area on the water's edge where we could spend the night. And after a sleep that wasn't nearly long enough, it was time to get back in those boats and continue the paddle to Government Island on Tippy Dam Pond. But first, we'd have to cross Hoddenpill Dam Pond and perform our first portage ever at Hoddenpill Dam something none of us had been looking forward to. Oh, now you've decided you want a life jacket on? At this point? This is the point. Well, now that the waves are low and the cool. wind isn't blowing, Somebody pointed out in one of the chat groups, they're like, yeah, and all, for all you people who just wear them without them zipped up, jump in the water and try and zip it up sometime. And I was like, oh yeah, I bet that'd be super fucking hard. Right? Truth be told, we enjoy canoe camping because it lets us take a truly absurd amount of gear with us into the woods. That is, until you have to portage. When you portage, you're pulling your canoe and all your gear out of the water to cross an obstruction, no. dam, or to change bodies of water. And this was our first time ever having to portage over anything. With 100 pound canoes and hundreds of pounds of gear. But hey, we made it. No worse for wear. Hey, I think that's what the gravel on the left is for. Yeah. Yeah, you're almost there. But it is really helping me out. Where I don't get that wet is a good one. Once we get to the other side of the dam and take a break to breathe, it's back in the boats and back on the river. Even if there are bridges and rapids and logs, the Manistee River from dam to dam is the hardest part when it comes to technical skill. Besides the portaging, the small rapids, low bridges, and mud flats, it's all that separate the river and Tippy Dam Pond. But with a little effort, about anyone can make it through. You just have to pay attention and wear your life jacket. And once you reach the pond, it's smooth sailing. Ah, uh, paddling, smooth paddling. We've been to Government Island before, 
and we thought this would be a great time to bring Emily here to see the sights of Tippy Dam Pond, have a great night camping out, and to do what we actually came here to do this time around. Celebrate John's birthday in MI Adventure Life fashion. Steaks on the campfire and a Dutch oven chocolate cake are on the menu in true My Adventure Life style. Cultural appropriation? You're saying we're cultural appropriating. Well, that's going to be it for this week, folks. If you liked it, or even if you didn't, if you could give it the thumbs up and click subscribe down there somewhere. Then ring that bell so you'll get a notification next week when Kara, Emily, John, and I continue down the Manistee River from Tippy Dam to our favorite spot, Bob's. If you know, you know. Uh, you can also leave a comment down there. Let us know how you're liking that merch shop. We just dropped some stuff for deer season. You know, let us know how you like it. Check it out. Thanks for supporting us, those of you that have. We really appreciate it. You know, or if you just wanted to, you know, know how we make a Dutch oven cake on a campfire, leave a comment, let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been MI Adventure Life.